Good morning! Today we are going to look at some practice examples for the right hand rule for moving charges in a magnetic field. So let's commence operations. Here's our first example. We have a particle that has a positive charge. It's heading in this direction. Please pause the video now. Alright, I hope you paused the video. And I hope you tried this question. So the question is, what direction will the force act in? There's our four possible orientations of our hand. Notice our fingers are pointing in the direction of the velocity. So in all four pictures, our fingers are always pointing in the same direction. That's because fingers have to point in the direction of the velocity. Your palm has to point in the direction of the field. So for this situation, the O's mean out. The field is coming out. So those two examples, they don't work because the hand faces side to side. And so the question is now, which of these two options is correct? For which example does the palm face outwards? Well, that's the example. And so your fingers point in the direction of the velocity, your thumb will face in the direction of the force. And remember, your palm has to face in the same direction as the field. This field is pointing out, your palm is pointing outwards as well. And so that would be the path that this particle would take due to that force. Example 2. This time the particle has a negative charge. Please pause the video and try this example. Alright, I hope you paused the video. Again, notice our fingers are always aimed in the same direction as the velocity for all four instances here. Those two instances don't work. Why? Because the palm has to face inwards in this situation because we have X's representing the magnetic field. Those two situations that we just X'd out, those palms face side to side. So, now looking at our two options left, which of these two has a palm that faces inwards? Hmm. Which of these two has a palm that faces inwards? Why inwards? Because the X represents a magnetic field pointing inwards. And so that's the example. And you would think in this situation that the force would point in that direction. However, we have a small problem. It's a negatively charged particle. The particle is not positive, it's negative. So if you recall from the previous video, for a negatively charged particle, the force has to flip by an angle of 180 degrees. And so that would be the direction of the force when using the right hand rule. And that would be the path that the particle would take. Now this is our final situation today. This time our magnets face side to side. Our particle is positive. Please pause the video. All right. I hope you tried the example. Here's our four orientations. Once again, the fingers are all pointing in the same direction as the velocity. This time, those two options, the palm is not facing in the correct direction. We need a palm that faces side to side. So those two examples, the palm is facing inwards and outwards. So they don't work. And this example, the palm is facing the wrong direction. So notice in this situation, the palm faces in the same direction as the field. Your thumb is pointing outwards. And what would that mean? The force would be pointing outwards. The force would be towards you. Hope you enjoyed the lesson.
Have a great day.